Now that was a B-roll sequence. What's up? Sa salukuyan! What's up guys? Welcome back to Mars Daily, your daily dose of photo and video and a little more about me. Okay, so for today, I believe so, we're now on the final episode of this 15-day daily vlogging challenge. And, and, as far as I know, possibly, I have the right to share the secret to daily vlog. Even though it's just 15 days, I've managed to pull it off. No una, mi onting turnarounds, mi onting difficulties, but... You know, I thought I'd do B-roll every day, pero na-realize ko kasi baka magsawa kayo. So, yeah, I then decided to make content about YouTubing, a little more about, no una, about sa lince, pero at first it's hard. And um, maybe then I could share a couple of secrets or maybe tips I know about daily vlogging. Let's go outside, you know, to get great lighting. Because number one, about daily vlogging, See? See that? There you go. Number one, about daily vlogging, lighting is everything. Para sa akin, it makes your vlog aesthetically better. Kaya, don't overexpose too much. Hindi pa tayo venue. Well, um, number two, when it comes to daily vlogging by the process itself, um, usually a lot of people misunderstand daily vlogging. Akala nila mahirap kasi kailangan mo i-brainstorm yung content every day. But it's just Simple. No, una, akala ko kailangan ko i-start yung vlog early in the morning which made me adjust the time frame that I wake up every day. So I had to wake up at 6 every day just to shoot the vlog. But then I realized, nakapag-isip na ako ng topic every day which is good about YouTubing, maybe then photo and video. I haven't done a photo, you know, a photo type of content yet. If you watch my other, you know, stuff here on YouTube, the process itself involves a lot of thinking. By that, I mean, you brainstorm mo yung content mo every day. Let's say from the little words that other YouTubers express on their content, you may pick up a few things about what they say. Sa pag daily vlog, it doesn't take the whole day to make a vlog. It just simply takes about five freaking hours of daily vlogging. As long as you separate it, sabi na lang natin na as long as you know what to do. Just explain three things, narrow it down, boom, you got a vlog, insert uh, maybe, you know, a 30 second b-roll sequence, a 10 second transition sequence, and you're all done. Tapos ka na. Outro na. Just like this vlog. I made an intro, now I'm explaining the secrets of daily vlogging. And I'm done with part two. And before we get to the third phase of this vlog, let's go outside. Because, uh, you know, the man mo na dito sa aircon kasi. Ang hina dito sa Pilipinas. Kung, kung, you know, if you guys know how hot it is here in the Philippines, hindi nyo gugustuin yung init. So, labas mo na tayo. Oh! Hi! Whoa! Hi! I drove from the Lima, yeah. Oh, okay. Amazing. This is my gift for you. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> Boss ba yung mic? Oh, uh, nakaboss yung mic. Yeah, birthday ko kasi bukas. So. <laughs> thank you, nanay. Thank you, nanay. <laughs> thank you, nanay. <laughs> okay, change of plans. Um, dahil... Biglang napapunta sila jingle dito. Kasi sila... Ano pa paano mo sa YouTube? Sila JC Ray na pumunta dito sa amin kasi nga din nalang lumpia para bukas kasi birthday ko bukas. So, we're gonna go on for a short road trip. Ako, naging secret ko sa pag-daily vlog nung una. Nung una guys, naging um, advance ako sa paggawa ng video. Which is tama na ginagawa rin ng mga ibang mga, you know, mga station kung alam niyo yung ABS, GMA. Ginagawa rin ng ibang mga station, especially sa mga, sa mga shows nila. Advance sila ng ilang episode. Pero kasi sa akin, ang nangyari, naubusan ako ng upload. So, naging daily talaga. Literal na daily. Tsaka ano, ang pinaka-technique, paghanap kayo ng pinaka-content na pinaka-idadaldal nyo, it's all about talking. It's, you know, more about sa pagdadaldal ko ano yung pinaka 
pinaka-juice ng content mo. Kaya yun yung naging strength ng mga vlogs para sa akin. Yung strength ng vlog ko, it worked out for me. At saka, yun yan, magsayta ka ng 3 minutes, jump ka sa ibang location, and then sayta ka ulit, and then jump ka sa next location. Yun, may vlog ka na. It doesn't take a day para gumawa ng daily vlog. Kaya sa mga aspiring na gusto mag-daily vlog, it's not hard. Really, it's not hard. Madali lang, super dali lang. Pero yun nga, it doesn't take too much time yung daily vlog. Unless na nakagusto mo talaga na sobrang daily, gusto mo isama yung nangyayari sa isa gabi. Nagkakaroon ka ng difficulties nun, especially sa lighting. Kasi nga, sabi ko kanina, sa mga first few parts about daily vlogging is lighting. Yun yung papaganda sa vlog mo. Kung gaano kaganda yung ilaw, yung kulay, aesthetically presentable ba yung vlog mo. Tapos, another thing I wanna go on to is understanding yung paglagay ng montage at ng b-roll sa vlogs. Recently, I had a, um, you know, I had somebody ask a question. Kailangan ba ng slow-mo sa paggawa ng b-roll at paggawa ng vlogs? Ah, uh, hindi. Hindi kailangan. Kasi, pwede ka naman gumawa ng quick sequence. Ang bawa, yung pagtimpla ng kape, hindi mo kailangan gawing slow-mo. You know, pagdugtong-dugtong mo lang yung clips. Like, simpleng tak-tak, lagay ng, ng kape sa baso, lagay ng tubig sa baso. Mabilis ang sequence. So, it doesn't really need slow-mo kasi paggawa rin ng slow-mo sa vlogs it also takes you know time and nobody wants a very long b-roll sequence ikaw ba manonood ka ng 2 minutes na slow-mo na puro b-roll tapos sakalang magdadaldal yung vlogger na gusto mong panahorin no at least 30 seconds nga matagal na yun eh kung tutusin mga ano lang mga 20 seconds 10 to 15 seconds lang ang b-roll sequence kung tutusin kasi you know, one essential factor that, you know, brings your B-roll to life is music. The timing will lang sa simple beats ng kanta, and then you're done. You have a B-roll sequence na at least 10 to 15 minutes. I mean, 10 to 15 seconds. Buti nga kayo, may gano'n eh. May intro pa kayo. Ako wala. Diretso dun na. Oo, oh, kung mababanig yung vlogs niya, diretso intro na siya. Wala nang, wala nang intro intro nung katulad nung sa akin na... Ang sa akin na yun. Ha? Amber G din meron. <laughs> Shoutout kay Amber G. TikTok era diaries. TikTok era diaries. Hindi na, alam mo, si Amber G, pag nakakasama ko, hindi ka naman kasama. Pag ikaw ang kasama ko, si Amber G naman yung wala. Busy si Amber G. Busy, busy si Amber G sa mga dolls niya. Shoutout si Amber G. Punta muna tayo sa pupuntaan namin. Kasi una kong nirequest sa kanya is magandang location para you know, i-share sa inyo. Nag-bother ba kasi shadow? Para i-share sa inyo yung secrets ng daily vlog. So, Let's go. Thank you. Now that was a B-roll sequence. A very quick one. So, hindi to means sa bahay nila. Nalilipatan nila. And, yeah. I guess. Last part about the secret of daily vlogging is pagdating sa content or being content wise. Kung ano yung may isip mo gawin mo na. Walang excuse, walang walang buts, walang pero. Kung ano yung may isip mong topic yun na yun. Just always think about three things na kaya mong i-explain at huwag mong isipin kung perfect ba yung topic mo. Ang pinaka importante kasi isipin mo kung may sense yung topic mo yun yung pinakamagandang sikreto sa daily vlogging as long as you have three things you can explain on your vlog just separate those into three parts yeah and expand them this will help you out explain things further on how you understand it at nga pala yeah itong 15 day daily vlogging challenge ito na pull off ko to dahil pinag-isip ako yung topic ko every single day naganap ako ng articles mga youtubers na nag upload Hindi naman kasi kailangan ng sobrang, hindi kailangan ng b-roll sequence. Minsan yung hindi nyo nagpapatagal sa vlog. As long as konektado yung b-roll sequence sa pinaka-vlog mo, like yung place na pupuntahan mo, which is ito, tulad nito, tulad ng ginawa ko, you're perfectly fine. Huwag ka mag-alala kung hindi mo kaya mag-b-roll, kung hindi mo kaya mag-montage, daanin mo sa logic na meron ka pagdating sa topic mo na meron ka sa vlog mo. At yan, kapag b-roll ako, ay na, sorry, hindi ko napigilan. Let's go, huwag tayo. Huwag tayo. Ha? Alright. 
At so yun syempre guys, maraming maraming salamat sa nag-comment na gusto nyo yung title na Mars Daily. At saka sa mga tropa ko na nag-comment, sa mga nag-comment daily sa, nag-comment daily sa mga daily vlog. Maraming maraming salamat guys. And yeah, I guess itutuloy-tuloy ko to. Kasi madali lang eh. Sa una mahirap dahil wala kang pattern. Pero kasi kapag nagkaroon ka ng drive na gumawa ng vlogs, like katulad nito, simple lang yung naging drive ko sa daily vlog na to. Ayoko magdalagang Pilipina. Laga Pilipina, yes. Tsaka ayoko kuminom ng isang baso ng Tabasco sauce. Hindi na natuloy yung dalagang Pilipina natin. Yeah. So yun, maraming maraming salamat sa nag-comment sa vlog na gusto nyo yung title ng vlog at maintain ko yung vlog. Hopefully in the near future makakagawa tayo ng makakagawa pa tayo ng mga photo video sequences. Yun nga lang, this time medyo may pahinga na ako at hindi na siya hype na kailangan ko yung namang mag you know, yeah, kailangan ko mag kailangan kong i-meet yung criteria na walang, walang ma-miss. Pero yeah, tuloy itong, itong ginagawa ko. At syempre bukas, expect kayo na may upload dahil birthday ko bukas. Ha? Tomorrow I'm turning 23. And I might make a short film about that pag nagawa kong ma-pull off na mabilis yung vlog. So, at syempre guys, huwag nyo nang kakalimutan mag-like, comment, share, and subscribe. And comment down below for today kung sa tingin nyo ba, paano nyo ma-pull off tong daily vlogging challenge? Paano kayo mag edit Paano kayo mag-iisip ng content? At syempre, don't forget to leave a like if you're watching the daily vlogs. And kung sa tingin nyo, ang vlogging ay isang effective tool not just to express yourself but to be yourself to the fullest diba? Yeah. so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow peace out